Hey bass players, hey YouTube, hey bass tube, hey you players, hey whatever, wherever you are. Welcome to another gear check. Today I'm gonna talk about one of my very own personal basses. This is a Warwick Custom Shop Infinity 5 string. As you might or might not know, in the Warwick Custom Shop, almost everything is possible. Uh, they have a saying there, if you can dream it, we can build it. Meaning you can choose all different kinds of wood, you can choose pickups, you can choose colors, you can choose hardware, whatever it is, uh, they can do it. So this base has some special features. Uh, but let's first start with the body. The body is made from oven cold body wings. As you can see, we have a neck through construction. And the body wings are chambered, as the Infinity is kind of like a semi hollow instrument. The neck, which goes through here, is the center block in which the pickups and the bridge are mounted. And the wings are chambered. Usually, the Infinity comes with two F holes, but I opted for only one for two reasons. First, I like the look better, and second, I wanted another positioning of the controls down here, so there was no chance of having another F-hole. Next, I wanted the jack to be on top of the instrument and not on the side, because of some instrument stands. So, we have Owen Cole back, and we have a 4A flame maple top right here. Um, you can see the grain through the finish and it looks absolutely beautiful. The neck is made from four pieces of uh, flame maple with a rosewood fretboard. We have 24 frets, medium sized frets. Uh, we have a matching headstock also with a 4A maple on top, also with a white finish. Uh, I wanted to have hip shot tuners. Besides that, we have the Warwick Justin a 3 nut here, which is made from brass. Bridge wise, we have the usual standard Warwick two piece bridge. We have uh, security locks, of course. And that's it so far, hardware and wood wise. So electronic wise, we have a uh, we have active MEC pickups here, a jazz here and a twin jazz there, which is splittable with this switch here. If you split it, you only have the bridge side coil of the twin, uh, so that then you have kind of like a jazz bass, right? Uh, right here we have an MEC electronics. This is volume, push-pull for active-passive. Um, passive, of course, is not really passive as we have active pickups. It's more like an EQ bypass. We have a balance right here. We have treble on top. We have bass down here. And we have the mids here. Here's another little switch. This turns on the LEDs on the fretboard. Just to find your way on dark stages, right? When I first got the bass, I almost was blinded by the lights because they were so, bah, they were so flashing in my eyes and I asked the guys to please build me in some dimmer or something uh, in the compartment here um, to be actually able to look at the lights. Uh, and now it's better. 
You can actually adjust the brightness, which is what they did for me. Um, since then, I never needed it again. So, that's the instrument. Lacquering-wise, um, we have a high gloss finish on body and headstock, but we have a natural oil finish on the back of the neck. I, I'm not the kind of a lacquered neck guy. I prefer the natural feeling of the wood. And I choose for that very special kind of like flowerish tribal design right here. Um, back in, I think, 2013 it was, I designed that with uh, uh, one of the graphic designers at Warwick. And uh, we made a mock-up and the lacquering guy did an incredible job bringing this to life. Uh, that was, I think, if I remember well, he used kind of like a foil and then lacquered it over and uh, brought in some shadows around it. And so it's really three-dimensional and it looks awesome, at least in my opinion, and uh, maybe you like it too. Besides that, as I uh, said before, we have a see-through white finish and uh, I like the white finish and the black hardware, the black uh, uh, controls here, the black pickups. I really like that uh, uh, contrast with that orange thing here. These days I use the bass strong B to G as a normal five string, right? But when I first got it, it was strong E to C. And that was because of I had to play some clinic tours for Warwick back then um, with Stu Ham, Divinity Rocks, Bakidi Kumalo, Chuck Rainey. And accompanying other bass players is uh, more easy when you have like more options in the high register, right? Uh, so I choose the E to C stringing and played chords and played melodies up here. And um, now as the clinic tour days are over, unfortunately, it was very, very good times. Um, I use it in a band setting. And uh, so I decided to string it usually B to G. The funny thing is, I didn't have to change a thing because the nut was able to hold the B string and on the other end, the C string, no problems. I had to adjust the truss rod a little, uh, but it worked perfectly. <laughs> So that's my very personal Warwick Infinity Bass. Thanks for watching. See you next week for another gear check. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, please do so down here. Please subscribe to my channel. See you next week. Thanks.